Hello. On day on day in bone day. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, hi, Grandma D. Oh, uh, let's see here. So we're just giving everyone a few minutes to log in. Uh, so far, we have uh, Kathy and Lori and Ramon and Tim was also logging in. I think he had to hop off. Um, but yeah, we were just seeing who joined us. Oh, there's Tim. All right. Um, so we haven't quite started yet, but uh, Dane, would you, uh, after we get started, would you be able to uh, just kind of go over so any updates from the credentialing board? Oh. Awesome. Um, all right, let's see here. Okay, I don't see anyone else in the waiting room, so I guess people will just be logging in whenever they can. Um, and we are recording, so hopefully that'll help. Um, let's see. Uh, Grandma D, uh, Bedotsai. Bedotsai. Get all things on good night, all day. God don't get egg mohamo. I'm Tom K. On the talkie. Get Tom. No. How how about the goat dog? I shan't go get high the door. Stop the key. I'll go. I'm Tom. Play the boy. No, don't get dog. Get on. I'm in Dolly. The the title, the ball ball and on the key. Don't don't get get my hammer. Hotel all day and all half the high. High it's all right. Get my hammer. My my title. The pedal. They only you know how to get out, but how you um, how get 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 got those on the dolly on the how on they get sun get all the dog I am in the dolly just how do I hold the animal I can't play the how get I got the dog how get I'm play the how they get on the I'm a hold to get on the dog. I can't pay them. They don't talk to them. Aho. 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 Okay. So? Uh, I guess I'll do the updates. Oh. Okay. So uh, just a reminder, this is going to be May 20th at the Kaiba Language Office in Anadarko from 10 to 2 p.m. We will be doing the credentialing interviews for both level one and level two. Um, so whoever can be there, uh, whoever wants to get do that part of the credentialing, they can be there, but it's not limited to just people who are just getting the credentialing for um, the interviews. Um, we're also going to try to have a workspace open up down there for anybody who is having trouble with other parts of the credentialing process. So say, for instance, having trouble with uh, pronunciation. Um, they don't know how to put pronunciation onto those, onto those, uh, you call them the PowerPoints. And it's something that's pretty easy to, easy to do once you got the technology to do it, but I know some people have had some issues with that, seeing in the recording, because we've been doing a lot of stuff online. And if we do it there, then we can, uh, we can correct a lot of, a lot of those, uh, a lot of those areas. And even for somebody who's already got the level one piece, if they want to redo those so that they, they're in a better format so that you can go back and do, and redo those. If we don't have that many there, we'll be able to review more than just the conversations. We can probably, if there's not very many people there, we can probably review some of your 
pronunciation uh, PowerPoints, might be able to do a few of those that are uh, trying to get the kinship portion of it. And the only thing that might be done separately away from there might be the grammar part just because that's real technical. And so we might have to get those done uh, by way of these meetings or another meeting somewhere else or um, as was requested earlier um, during the Norman meeting sessions, um, it was requested that if I go off to the side and I do help some of the credentialees that are there that are trying to get caught up. So I might be doing that in, for the Norman sessions for uh, Monday, Monday nights. I think it's every second Monday. So I'll be there. And I'm thinking about doing that in the Anadarko area for anybody in the surrounding towns and areas down there too this summer. So some, sometime in the evening when they're having some kind of session, um, I want to be around there so I can actually help people. Um, get through some of the harder stuff that maybe it's just a tech issue that's keeping you from doing a certain certain part and then with that we can do it right then and there. Also, maybe uh, in the possibility that you had a uh, pronunciation errors in the pronunciation piece, that you, we can just take those computers there and go back and just correct them right then and there. So you don't have to wait till the next potential time. We just we just take care of the corrections uh, right there at our at the credentialing process. And that'll make it easier for everybody. So you don't have to wait until the next credentialing process to do that. We can, we can actually get it done right there. So don't think of this credentialing process as just something just for people who are getting credentialed today. Uh, you know, you can also think of it as a, hey, I need to go down there in person and see a writing person. And maybe somebody there can help me with the credentialing process if I'm not ready for it. So also I would, you know, I would take it as a meeting like this too, but in person. And there are some things that online that we just can't do, or we can't really show you very well because we're sharing screens and we're doing technology that maybe those questions might be answered when you're around people um, that have done it before or were there to answer those questions in person. Uh, so, uh, That'll be there for that. I think we're going to have at least two computers set aside so that set up so that you can work on some other things and you can work on these, uh, whether it's the pronunciation, pronunciation or just studying with other people and actually having the interaction with one for one on one person per person. So, um, but that's the updates May 20th um, at the at the Kiowa language. Uh, office in Anadarko, and um, does anybody have the, uh, I don't have the address on that, but does anybody here know the address to the office? Oh, uh, I'll put it in the chat as okay. well. Um, let's see, it's 516 East Central Boulevard. Okay. Awesome. Uh, oh, oh so, uh, Dave, Hyundai inside though. Hyundai. Um, what uh, what time? Does it At start? ten a.m. to two p.m. That'll be the set time for that. Ten a.m. Uh, yeah, ten a.m. to two p.m. Uh, the the Kiowa language oh. program. They will be providing some refreshments for you for both breakfast and a lunch. So you'll have we'll have some snacks there and some things. So. Um, that'll be provided over there. And just to kind of give an idea, is there anybody in this room right now that's a, that is a, a candidate or already has their level one credentialing that is, is actually planning on being there? Just so I can give some numbers because we are going to have a, a, a secondary meeting next week. And I want to give them an idea of at least some of the people that are for sure coming. Do you want people to uh, raise their hand or? Yeah, or put it in the chat or something. I just want just want to get an idea. I know it's going to be a little bit smaller. I know uh, when we had the Norman session, I, everybody said, uh, there was quite a few people who said, oh, I won't be ready by the 20th. And that's OK, because we're going to decide on a late summer time, too. So we're going to have two this summer, one, you know, this May 20th one. Uh, and then we're going to have the 
and the one later in the summer. So that's basically I want to kind of get a little bit of a head count of anybody who's going to be there on the 20th so that we know how many people to prepare for because people are bringing food here. So we got to we got to make sure that there's going to be a candidate here to actually take that. Um, so let's see. Uh, I saw we had a couple that just joined. Um, Courtney put in the chat she won't be able to make it due to graduation. Um, let's see, uh, Allison and Tim, I don't know if you heard, uh, Dean's. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I heard, I, um, I was actually one that said I wouldn't be ready by the 20th, so, uh, I figure mine, I'll try, I'll shoot for August. Oh, are we? Uh, talking about level one or level two i still have to do level one yeah we do it's for both okay so and as i said before if you weren't hearing before don't don't see it as, don't don't look at this as, as just the credentialing interviews and stuff also uh, think of this as a hands-on meeting where you're there in person and then we could actually help you in person get a lot of these done so um also think about it like that too. So you don't have to come there and have to finish this credentialing process. You can go there and we can answer some of your questions and maybe help you through some of the, even the like like tech issues or, you know, creating some, you know, help you a little bit, a uh, little bit with the studying process or anything like that. Um, so that you can kind of prepare for, maybe you can prepare for the one that's in later on this summer. Dan, I got a question for you. Okay. You know how you have the PowerPoints um, with with the Kawa, you know, pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Do you have oh. any, anything for the uh, kin, the kinship? Uh, no, but I guess we can make it. Um, I just I, I've never made anything on that because that it's not really a part of my class. But yeah. I can make one, and I can make one very similar to that. Like that's with the uh, power. Uh, did you download the ones for the conversation at all? Or have you listened to those? Yeah, I, yeah, I have those. Okay, so I can make something very similar to that both ways that go that go with how we're gonna be testing in there. So I can make some stuff for that as well. I don't, to me, that kinship is just so hard because man, you, it depends on who you're talking to and is it on your dad's side? Is it on your mom's side? And it's, it's just like, there's so much that you have to try to memorize for that one. Uh, I know that, uh, you know, for some, some of the people that went through that, uh, they, they, they mm -hmm. probably feel the same way. I, and, and they're probably, whenever, whenever I tell them, it's actually easier than the English version, the English version of family terms. But uh, it's the his and her stuff that I know that starts making that hard. So we can work on it. In fact, I'm going to stay around and work. For me, I'm going to stay around and work with people who are going to be uh, mm -hmm. going to that meeting, uh, going to the May 20th. So that's, there's several reasons why I want to know that for the head count, but I want to make sure that I focus on y'all before the May 20th. So if you are going to be there on May 20th, I want to make sure that I do focus on you before that well, time. So let me just tell you, uh, Melody, and I guess everybody that's here where I'm at. Uh, so I'm, I'm definitely going to get a chance to be able to teach that Kawa class um, at Riverside, but I got to get it, like my certification. And so even if that level one, so whatever I need to do to, um, you know, like I send you that one, those recordings, it's like, it's just, oh my goodness, it's, I don't know if it's, it's just time consuming teaching and trying to do, fit everything in. So I, I, but I definitely want to at least try to get that level one in. So I have that certification so I can give them to them. So then I, I'm legit to be able to teach that class. And so that's why hopefully, be, you know, whatever we, hopefully I'm free on that, should be free that um, Saturday on the 20th to make it there and just visit with you. That's why I thought in that kinship, you know, that's one that, um, seems to be the hardest for me any, anyway. Okay. I can stay around today. And you, are you having a meeting next week, Melody? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to continue coming to these meetings and uh, I can focus on you. If you're, if you're going to, if you're able to be there, I want to make sure that I do help you out with this so that when you get there, you can get, get all this level one stuff done out of the way. All right. I hope. You, you, you got this, Tim. Um, it's, uh, it's, it seems um, 
like a lot, but it's actually not. And it, it goes by pretty quick. So you got this. Um, yeah. I think it's really right. exciting. I'm it's really exciting afraid. for you and Riverside. I'm not afraid to work hard. I just need to you know, be able to listen and, and to be able to, you know, do what I need to do. And, to, I, you know, and it's just a different uh, situation out there at Riverside, you know, because we have all different students from the Mississippi Choctaws to the Cheyenne Arapaho. And so I'm going to take the approach of the class a little bit different than just a straight Kawa, you know, class. So, but, but I have to have that certification to be able to teach that class. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's what, uh, so at um, Weatherford High School, um, they just, um, uh, accepted a proposal for a uh, Native American language uh, introductory class. And they asked me to uh, be the teacher of record um, to teach two uh, classes at um, in the morning starting in August at Weatherford High School. So even though there's a bunch of CNAs out there, uh, there are some Kiowas, so they'll all be learning Kiowa. <laughs> Name of the so, class you're gonna call it is Native American language. Yeah, we're, I, I propose it as Native American Language 1, and then next year we'll add a Native American Language 2. That way kids will get two years, and then I'm hoping eventually the CNAs will want to partner, you know, and kind of like co-teach it so that we could do like a different language every nine weeks, but uh, they didn't get back to me in time to get the proposal, but I guess the school board and the superintendent, they're all... Uh, they're all excited about it, so we'll see. I, I, I approach them too. I'm kind of got the same um, idea you have. I was wanting to name it Native American language. Um, I might <laughs> give it to you, uh, Melody, just offline to see what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, do that. yeah. Might... Reach out, email me. Um, I'm working on a syllabus right now to uh, get get it submitted, so their um, superintendent and the director of curriculum can take a look at it. But um, yeah, I, apparently they're really interested in the potential of improving the Native American students' uh, grades because apparently the work, the little work that we've done this school year, uh, just doing one one day um, a week after school uh, with these kids has dramatically improved all their grades for all the middle school and high school students. And so anyway, Weatherford is like super excited. They're like, oh yeah, we need a class. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably be calling you tomorrow because I'm um because I I think we're on the same, we're thinking the same as far as that class goes. So oh, yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying to think like like the Cheyennes, the Mississippi Choctaws, the Apaches is like we're all gonna know our colors, we're you know, we're all gonna know count to ten, you know, say our colors, have a greeting, you know, and it's just so much potential, you know, mm -hmm. to do. We have so many students that come from various tribes. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting off subject from our Kawa class. Oh, no, that's awesome. That's exciting. Yeah, reach out. I think that's really cool. There's a lot of opportunities that are becoming available right now, just like fast, just because we got that world language thing OPE approved. And it's like, it's almost like we got first dibs on a lot of stuff right now. So it's almost like we take advantage of that as much as we can with our camp, with everybody who's getting credentialed right now. I said, Melody, are you going to do that for, for every uh, quarter or every your level one, or is it going to be a whole school year? Are the kids oh, for for the Native American language, language one course. Yes. Is that um, so? My original idea was if I partnered with the CNA because uh, they have a Cheyenne language teacher, then they have a Arapaho language teacher. So I was going to do. The first nine weeks for Kiowa, the second nine nine weeks uh, Arapaho, the third nine weeks uh, Cheyenne, and the last nine weeks of the year would be review for all of those. But um, they, the CNAs, um, I don't know. I reached out to their language program, but they haven't gotten back to me about. They said they're interested, but they, you know, they haven't got back to me. So I'm, I'm just going to plan it out um, to try to get the kids from like zero to uh, what is it? A, a novice, novice low, novice mid uh, on the world languages um, standards. 
Um, and the materials are pretty much going to be uh, what we've been doing for our sessions this semester. Um, just kind of slow down a lot, lot more repetition is kind of what what I've been thinking. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. But I'm still working on the syllabus, so it's just really exciting. Yeah, you just made me more excited too about the class. So thank you. <laughs> awesome. That's why I want to do uh, level two because I'm like, well, I I know with level one I got that submitted and the high school you know they approved it, but um, I want to do level two just to make sure I'm continuing. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Any um, any questions for? Oh, I see a. Aikima and George are joining and says Judy. So uh, Dane, uh, you might want to uh, <laughs> repeat uh, the date and everything uh, if you don't okay. mind. Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, oh, there's Judy, okay. Okay, so those of you who just joined, um, Everybody who just joined, um, we are having our credentialing, our in-person credentialing meeting on May 20th. So that's for, it's for a lot of different people from from different, uh, basically that, that are kind of in different areas of the process. Uh, the main focus we have is for the interviews, for the conversational interviews be between the board and anyone, the level one or level two candidates. And but also to think of it as a practice session, so you don't have to get everything done there. But there's some things that you're having a hard time with, and you need to see something concrete and in person. Then we'll be there for that too. So it's not limited to people that are just getting credentialed, but those who have who want to, that in-person practice and questions answered. There's gonna be food provided, both breakfast and then a lunch, snacks, things like that. And so anybody who just came in, that's May 20th, Saturday of this month, and it's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And so what I was looking for is anybody who's going to show up, whether they're going to go through the, through the interviews or whether they're just going to show up so they can get some good practice in. So if anybody's for sure going to be there, they're just going to Anadarko area. It is at the language office in Anadarko. So anybody who's in that area, you know, I, I, uh, uh, you know, if you're in the area, you know, take advantage of the opportunity to be in the in-person. So all those questions that you ask, whether it's online or on phone and, and, you know, not able to focus on it or either, or not be able to interpret stuff as well as I could in person, then we can be there for that on there. So if you are in the area, you know, that might be good just to step in, even if you're not getting credentialed that day, maybe we can get something done and knock something out anyway, at least one part of the credentialing. We are gonna do one later in the summer too. We haven't set a date for that, but this might be a good idea to come in if you're in the area to get to knock off some of those credentialing things so you don't have to wait till the next time. You don't have to do them all at the same time, but get some stuff knocked out. Otherwise, I'm just looking for anybody who's gonna be there. So we got one who I think is gonna be there uh who but we just need a head count so we know that there's going to be people there for this meeting and you want us to uh have people put it in the chat or yeah go know? ahead and put it to the chat or you can just say it op open openly and just say yeah i can be there okay so Tim said he's able to show up. Melody said she's going to show up, right? Judith should show, show up. Okay, so we do got, we got some people. So at least we got three people that are going to be there. Is there anybody else that is going to show up? Like I said, you don't have to do the interview. Okay, Carolyn's going to be there. Okay, that's good. Now we got people there. Uh, when you're there too, sometimes you can help each other out. If we're doing the interviews during the time, then 
you know, if anybody has any questions, you got it. You got quite a few credentialed teachers in there that are going to uh, show up. So it's a chance for credential teachers to help each other out with how to do some some of the processes too. So eventually, we, I think we were we are going to have people to, to be kind of uh, alternate evaluators, just in the case one of us can't be there, that we have somebody there to be the fifth person. So we haven't we've only only kind of discussed it briefly in our meetings and we did it one time after this meeting, but I think that's going to be a, a thing that to make sure that we, when we're looking into the future, uh, if anybody has to step down, things get too busy or anything, anything else comes along that to fill up our, to make sure that we have a board or make sure that we got the right, mainly to make sure we got the right, we got evaluators, in there so we can evaluate these people at these uh, level one and level two areas that we got people there that know the process that have been through it that can be alternates for us just in case somebody can't be there uh, even sometimes when there's all five of us there we might go ahead and let an alternate go ahead you know i'm thinking about having an alternate go ahead and go in and be in there while one of us steps out so you can get the experience of being an evaluator evaluator for this because that's uh, that's going to be really important for us, and it might just be people who pass that process. Maybe we can have some people who already passed the process. They can be evaluators, and that'll help you on that end. In fact, when you do on the end, you kind of learn more about the process. It'll probably give us better feedback on how we can go about it as well. And if not that, say for instance, I leave and I say, okay, I'm getting. Uh, I have to move here. I got too much going on at school or something like that. I'm going to have to leave as a board member. Then maybe we can suggest other people be on the board as well to take take the place of anybody who has to leave or whatnot. So anyway, that's kind of looking ahead. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was just looking for for people who can be there for the evaluation, depending on how many people are there. We can get through so many interviews or we can work on some other stuff. So. Oh, awesome. Uh -huh. um, does anyone have any other questions or comments for Dane or uh, anything about the credentialing process? And uh, Dane, I think in a, one of our previous sessions, um, Someone had asked about, um, is there a possibility of doing an online evaluation? Um, just wanted to see if you had any updates on that. Uh, in the, so we just talked about that. Um, on the base that somebody is that far away and they can't make it there, let me know we do got some set up for that. and. Um, what I'll say is that it's not going to be, it's going to be, it's not going to be you come in and then you leave. There's going to be kind of a waiting room where you are and is going to mimic that you're going to kind of be in there with everybody else that's sitting in there so you can interact with them, ask questions and whatnot. Um, but to try to make it as much like you're there as possible. So uh, there's going to be a little bit of restrictions there. Um, and and one of those is uh, you can't just come in there and leave and avoid everybody. That's that's the big thing trying to keep going is not avoid everybody but come there and leave. So the people who are in the waiting room that you are kind of interacting with them, if you're practicing, you got some people to talk to in there. So it'll be like this, but maybe on a big screen. But we're talking about that right now. So uh, that might be a possibility for this time, maybe not, maybe for next time. But if you're in that situation, uh, make sure to make sure to let me know because uh, that's going to be on a person to person basis. Yeah, I'm like nine hours away. I can't make the twentieth. And okay, you know. uh, do you still have my number? Uh, I have to get it again. I think okay. I put in the some... chat. So there's my number right there. I'll keep. Oh, I, I think I sent it to her. On a direct message. Uh, okay. 
Okay, there's my cell number that's about to pop up right there. So that's where everybody can see it right there. You can save that. If it is in that in the that situation where you're where you're that far away, let me know and I'll keep you updated um, on how we're gonna go about that. Okay. Oh. Awesome. Okay, right, so uh, Melody, uh, I don't know if you, um, I am going to go ahead and work one on one with those ones who are going to be there, who are going to try to get some stuff knocked out of the way. So I don't know if I can do a, a, a breakout room with just them. Yeah, let me uh, make you a, a co-host so you can set that up. Okay, you should see it. All right, so whoever is wanting to jump in and maybe go over some more details, um, maybe go over some of the materials with Dane on the credentialing, um, feel free to jump in to the breakout room in okay. a moment. Okay. So you got this, it's credentialing preparation. That's where I'm gonna be in. And I just created an extra room just in case y'all needed it for anything. Oh, awesome. Aho. Um, all right, so anyone hop over there. Melody. Hande. 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 Hi. I know this is kind of off topic, but Sunday is Mother's Day. Do you want to mm -hmm. let people know whether they're going to have a meeting or not on Sunday? Because a lot of them, I mean, I'm not busy, but a lot of them might. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, yeah, I think that the usually the Kiowa War Mothers have their dance on that day. So um, we'll probably cancel Sunday and then start up again next, the next Sunday, the following Sunday. Because, yeah, I know people will probably be busy. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good uh -oh. reminder. Awesome. Um, so let's see. For anyone who wants to um, get some one-on-one -on -one support with the credentialing process, um, Dane's in the breakout room that says credentialing preparation. So let me know if you want me to um, send you over there. Um, or to get to it, just uh, click on the um, the button that says breakout rooms. If you don't see it, click on the more um, button on the Zoom window and then just click on breakout rooms and then click on credentialing preparation and hit join and then it'll take you over there. All right. Okay, well, um, so I see we have some uh, people jumping over there. So after everyone kind of moves over, we can go ahead and uh, do some practice. So we have a short lesson for today, um, but this is lesson six on the, uh, I guess it's the, it's the credentialing PowerPoint uh, that Dane shared with us. Um, let me see here. Let me. I'm going to share my screen so you can see the, uh, the PowerPoint, and then I'll pull up the lesson. Um, let's see here. Where's my folder? All right, let's see if I can share this. Oh, hey, there's Cricket. Let's let's wait for Cricket to join. Hey, Cricket, Hande, Hande, Bong. Um. So, uh, Cricket, and for anyone else who uh, just joined us. Um, we do have we did have some updates from Dane on behalf of the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board. 
and um, Dane is in um, a breakout room called credentialing. Uh, let's see, let me see. Credentialing preparation, okay. and he's there to answer any questions. Um, the let me. Uh, he actually announced um, the Kiowa language credentialing um, session that will happen in Anadarko. So okay. on uh, May 20th, let me put that back in the chat. So, okay. and uh, Dane wanted to know um, if people are gonna be there. Um, so, so far there are four of us that um, are planning to be there. Um, so just put in the chat if you're gonna be there um, or let Dane know. So they can get a head count of how many people to expect. And he's going to do, uh, they're going to do level one and level two. And he said, um, it doesn't have to be all, it could just be like certain pieces. Um, and it's also a chance for us uh, candidates to kind of interact with each other on that day. Um, and Dane said they're going to feed um, breakfast and lunch to anyone who joins and and yeah, so if you have specific questions for Dane, um, he's answering questions in that breakout room while we're practicing. So that's the update. <laughs> uh -ho, thank you. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, so I was just gonna share my screen and we we're gonna look at the lesson six here. Um, Okay, tell me if you can see my screen. Oh. Okay. Oh. Awesome. Okay, so here is so this is this is the PowerPoint that we've been using to make the lessons. So lesson one, lesson two, three, four, five, and six. So this is the one that I sent out with the email today. And this is the one we can practice. And the conversation in this um, lesson, you know, is cumulative. So it'll cover the previous lessons. Um, and then I'll see if I can get this one out uh, next for, you know, in the next couple of days for next week. Um, I'll try to be ambitious and get a couple of these out, especially for anyone who's going to use them in on the 20th. So, um, all right, so let me stop sharing that and let me pull up the lesson document. Okay, wait for it to load. All right. Can you see lesson six? Paul. Oh. All right. Um, so like I said, really short. There's only a few phrases here, but um, it's about invites. So invites, invitations. Um, and we have the vocabulary and grammar breakdown here. And then the translations. And then here's the conversations that we're gonna practice uh, right now. And then the note cards. So, um, okay, let me scroll back up, sorry for the scrolling. Um, okay, so let's start with this. Um, and of course the first uh, statement is, it's not really a, you don't really have a verbal response. You just, you do the action. <laughs> So um, let's see, I know we have um, our mentors here with us. Uh, for mentors, we have Grandma D, Grandma Martha now, um, and Miss Velma. I think that's everyone. And uh, Miss Brenda is listening in. Um, she, uh, I guess she's got some background noise going on right now, so she won't be able to speak, but okay. um, she'll be here to listen. And so, so I guess we could start uh, with this first um, statement here. Um, Grandma D, would you be able to pronounce that for us? 
Let Martha now start. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Grandma Martha, over okay. to you. Okay. I'm hey, babe. Be song. Grandma D? I'm hey, babe. Be song. Grandma Selma? I'm hey, babe. Be song. Oh, okay. Let me put, um, uh, let's see if I got, let me make sure I have everyone here. Um, me and Carolyn, Kathy, Courtney, Lori, Allison. Um, let's see who's in the main room with us. And George, Akima, and Cricket. So let's see here. All right, does this work for the order of everyone here? So we'll just go down the list. Um, I put it in the chat. <clears throat> ah, cool. Aim, hey, bay, bay, saw. I'm 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 hey, bay, bay, saw. Alisan, are you able to? I'm hey, bae, bae saw. Sorry. Uh -huh. And cricket? I'm hey, bae, bae saw. Oh, bae saw. Oh, oh! I, I don't see. I think Ramon went to the uh, breakout room, so we'll go over to George and Ikima. Oh, we couldn't hear you. Might be having audio issues. Hopefully, uh, you can still hear us. <laughs> um, all right, and I see Miss Marion also joined us. Um, okay, so <laughs> aho, um, so that we'll go here to the second line here, and so this is when we start talking about invitations. Well, first off, before we go to that, let's uh, do the translation for this first statement. So. Who wants to translate that? Who knows what that what you're saying there? Uh, for the learners. Come in, sit down. Is that what you're asking? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Melody, may I ask a question? I mean, neither here nor there, but I'm curious. Why, oh. is, there, why is there an exclamation mark? Um, that's a good question. I just copied it from the PowerPoint because that's how Dane had it. Um, wow. I think when I was doing the, the pronunciation breakdown, it's, um, it's the command form and in the glossary, 
all the command forms of the verb have that exclamation mark on it because it's a I guess if you're telling someone to do something um I don't know we could ask Dane but that's my guess as okay. to why there's a oh okay proceed <laughs> oh good question um okay so uh let's go to the second second one um and we'll start with grandma martha so we'll go to uh grandma martha then grandma d um then miss velma and then miss marion to print just uh kind of read through the the statement and the response there oh, for okay. us uh and grandma martha now would you be able to uh kind of interpret that for us explain Kind of the context behind that statement. Okay, translate. So, would you want me to translate? Oh. Okay. All uh, right. It's doll and ah, uh, and then the response is just ha, and that doll and ah uh, is like you must come back. You know, you're inviting someone, or you should come back. Either way, you must or you should come back. So you're kind of inviting them to say, I want, would like for you to come back to a party or dinner or something or visit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, who? Uh, Grandma D, over to you. Dal, I'm uh. Donald, Doc. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Da Donald. What, 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 why, um, is there another word that says Da Al? Da Alima. Da Alima. It's just Da, Da, Da. It's kind of got that all sound in it. Da Al. 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 So would it be uh, uh, would it be wrong if you say da adel im uh? No, because that's the way it's pronounced. But some people say it fast, Velma. They might just say da im uh. They might just say da im uh. They're speaking fast, Kiowa. You know? Okay, well, they should have just one a. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's supposed to sound like this though. Da adel im uh. Who? Uh, Miss Marion, do you want to pronounce I, I, that? Just a little oh. quick comment about that. I I don't remember really hearing that too much growing up. I don't I don't know. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but that that was one of the words that you know I'm, I'm, I had to relearn. So yeah. that's why I was asking. Oh, um, Hyundai in sight, Grandma Martha now. Along those lines, uh, are there, can you give us like other examples, like when we might hear someone say this? Um, okay, what do you think about it? Because I see this all the time. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. Let me think of something and then when we have a pause again, I'll come back with it. Okay. Uh -huh. With an example, another example. Okay. I'm just wondering if there's maybe another Another yeah, there's, there's other things you can use it with. It's just that this is the most common one, I would say, you know, oh. invitation, like an invitation. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, let's see. Uh, what about Monday? Okay. I was going to say, uh, what about I'm all, I'm all, I'm all. And then, uh, no. Aim ah, uh. and then responses. He's um uh. I don't know. Have you heard that? Um uh. Probably. Oh. Yeah, I probably could use uh. that. Yeah. Okay. Um uh. Aim, uh. Instead of well, I mean you know da uh, da uh, aim uh. and like they sometimes say it fast da uh, aim ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. and, and then I've heard her say, now I'm all, 
That means you too. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, well, we'll go ahead and practice that. Uh, so we'll go in the same order for the learners. So, uh, cool. Don't all lame ah, ha. Kathy, over to you. Uh, da, uh, da, auto, aim, ah, uh, da, auto, aim, ah. Uh, I guess that's the pathway. Ha, uh, either way. <laughs> Courtney? Da, auto, aim, ah. Uh. Uh, oh, hey. oh. Oh. Is it oh. me? Oh, you're up, okay. Alison. Da al am a ha. Da al am a ha. And then let's try. Oh, Ramon's back. <laughs> Ramon, do you want to? Um... Oh. <clears throat> uh, da'al a. Oh. Do you want me to do the uh, one above? Um, if you want, yeah. Em <laughs> hey be be saw. And then honde em te lo to. Aho. All right, and George and Akima, um, let's see, over to you. Yeah, we'll just do the, what we missed earlier, too. So, oh. um, aim hey, be, be saw, da all aim ah. Can we not do this one? Okay. Aim hey, be, be saw. Oh, aim hey, be. They saw. Dal aim ah. Ha. Ha ho. All right. Uh, do any of our mentors do you do y'all have any feedback for us? Doing good. Doing good. Good, really good. Oh, all right. And we're on the last one here and then we can go into the conversations. Um, so uh, Grandma Martinell, I'll have you start us off yeah. there. Okay. Darling, oi, ah, ha. Grandma D. Dalem oya ha. Dalem oya. Dalem oya ha. Ahu. Ako. Da am oi a ha. Da all in oi on ha. My turn. No. Uh, Alice Ann. Okay. Da all in oi on ha. 
da al em oi a a da al em oi a a da al em oi a a da al em oi a ha ha ho all right well, we got through our pronunciations, ready to do some conversation. So that one, uh, the translation is, is it uh, just uh, you should you should come back or you should return? Right. It's like an invitation there when they're saying it like that. I did um, think of another uh, uh, example that you could use that doll word. It's mm -hmm. like, uh, for instance, um, saw Guga doll bay on. And that's saying that you must make or have a sweat house. Hmm. Oh, awesome. So then and you're inviting someone to come sweat. Right. Because okay. you got to make that so you can invite people to come to that. Oh, the other thing is it could be shortened down to D-A-L, that sound, doll. It's kind of a shortened version of it. Mm -hmm. But the, but the way it's written here is so uh, your diacritics on those A's are both going up and they're hard sounds. So you almost have to say it like that. That's the way it sounds to me. Da'al ima. Da'al ima oya. Oh. That's a good example. All right. Let's go to the conversations. All right, so we have a couple options. We have conversation option one, option two, and this uh, third one is the conversation response practice where it's more open-ended. You just have to say the appropriate response. So uh, which one would you like to do? Any preference, votes? One, two, or three. The, the top, the one on the right, is that one? This one right here? Option one. Um, hold on, I'm not looking. Yeah. Option one? Yeah, just start going in order, I guess. All right. Sounds good to me. All right, let's... Um... <laughs> Ramon. Ramon wants to get right to practicing the the uh, credentialing piece. So how about we do uh, this one and then we uh, do the response practice. Okay. Is that um, the, so the option three is credentialing? Um, it's, it's kind of more in the format that the credentialing will be in. Obviously it's all gonna be verbal, so we're not gonna see the written part, but Huh. It's going to be more like someone they're going to ask us something or say something, and we have to give the appropriate response for the credential. Okay. So, um, whereas this, these conversations are more like a script that we're just reading. Um, so that's the difference. Okay. All right. So let's, um, uh, let me, let's see, where's our names at? Um, let me put our names back in the chat. Let's do our pairs. Uh, so conversation practice. Uh, let's go uh, me and Aunt Carolyn, uh, Kathy and Courtney, uh, Lori and Alisanne. Uh, Cricket and Ramon and George and Akima, is that is that okay with everyone? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Let me hit enter here. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, uh, go. Aunt Carolyn. Um, do you want to uh, be A or B? 
a B right now. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> um, and hey, they, they saw. Oh. On the own, they aim sun. Oh. Now I'm on. Oh. Aim Hyundai on. Oh. Is it aim Hyundai on? Mm hmm. Aim Hyundai on. And then this is the one where you have the the different options, and it's the it's from lesson three. If you have your cheat sheet in front of you, um, it's the ah goi ma tame ah or ah tai me gu ah or any other reason. Okay, um, did you ask, where are we? Oh, um, right here, um, in Hande, ah. So you, you asked me, you, can't, you came for something. Did you say that? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Ah, uh, time may go. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. time may go. Ah, mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. oh. I'm for him, though. Ah, I'm for him. Ah, don't all aim on. Ah. Uh, I got him ho to ye. Oh, I'm on. Oh, Obaha. Oh. All right. Uh, Kathy and Courtney, um, no, um. Oh, Courtney, what do you want to do? I can do A. Oh. Okay. Aim hey, bay, bay, so. Oh. Hande on day and sun. Oh, I'm stable. I'm Hyundai on. Mm. Uh, tai me gu a. Uh. Hi, for some though. Hyundai, ha, 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 for some though. Da aro am a. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's oh yeah. Return is oh yeah. Oh, the oh the am oh yeah. Oh, I get am ho to ye. Oh, am star. Oh, oh. Oh, I missed that on the on the first one, so it should be da auto in oi uh, for return. I hope <laughs> again, again, oi, oi, oh, and da auto should same that return is to oi ah, uh. uh -uh, it's just to come back. I'll just come here. Oh. All right, uh, Lori and Alice Ann. Alice, which part do you want to read? 
I'll do, um, I'll do, um, you want me to do A? Yes. <laughs> okay. Same hey, babe. Face off. Pa. Pa, Leon, they aim song. Pa, um, you also. Um, I'm all. I'm all. I'm on the all. Ha. Uh, I came to visit. Um, is it a time? A time, a mm -hmm. goo. A time, a goo. Oh. 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 O
I don't know which way you are going. Uh, the uh, uh, the banma, the haya haya in banma. Oh, where are you going? Haya in banma. Um, uh, uh, day, day, up. that D E word, day, and then it's good. Oh, we're on number four. Aren't the, you on uh, five? I think you're on five. She finished that. Yeah. Which was cool. mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Oh. Are you answering her? Yeah, I have to answer oh. her. <laughs> oh, she's answering oh. her. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, uh, B, uh, B, Banma. Oh. Okay. Are we on five, Melody? Oh. So. They get aga. Oh, they get aga. Uh -oh. I just did this. You said number six. Yeah, we should. Okay, you should return. The mm -hmm. aim ah. Oi ah. Oi ah. Okay, again. Well, it doesn't say again. It just said you should return. You were right, Carolyn. Uh oh, and uh. You should. Is that, is that the oi, uh, uh Grandma Martha? Return. It's always going to have oi because you're returning. Okay. You. okay. But if you okay. just want to say you come here, that's going to be different too. Okay. Am uh, uh, you know, am uh, 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 come here. Okay. Huh. Okay. So it sh you should return. Is that I am? Uh. Mm -hmm. I am I am. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Are we on seven then? Mm -hmm. Oh. Number seven. Okay. Go. Yeah, I got that. Hey, God. Mm -hmm. Hey, God, I'm I want to. Oh, hey, God, I'm I want to. Oh, over her. Oh. Spag. <laughs> uh -huh. We did it. <laughs> uh, over to you, uh, Kathy and Courtney. Hey, Courtney, I guess I'll ask you since you did the last one. Oh. Aim oh. hey, be, be so. Oh. 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 Aim boy on the. Oh. I push on the. Haya in Fanma. Three. About three. So you're on three. Oh, three. Oh, um, get down. Uh, hang on a minute here. <coughs> Hyundai aim side though. Hyundai. Haya aim ba. Um, Haya aim bomb Fanma. Afghan to Bama. They get tiger. Ha, they get tiger. The arrow aim oi. Ha, I'm all. He got aim oi bonta. Ha, he got aim oi bonta. 
Oh, oh. All right, Lori and Alison. I'll go first. I'm hey, bay, bay, soft. Oh, Mars, 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 Marvin, Marvin. Whoops, I muted you, Kathy. I thought she was talking to me at first. I was like, wait. <laughs> ha a boyon da. Ha. 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 Boyon da. Ha. 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 Um, Haya, uh, Haya and Bone Ma, Haya and Bone Ma, They get tired, Ah, they get tired, yeah. Da all am oi, ah, ah, am oi. Hega am oi, Bone Da. Ah, Hega. And oil bonta Omaha. Oh, awesome. Um, Cricket and Ramon. Okay. What do you want to do? Um, <clears throat> I don't mind responding on this one. Okay. Uh, aim hey, bay, bay saw. Oh. Hi, I'm for him, dog. I don't hear my no um up for him though uh uh hand him side though one day hi i am buying ma on a bar ma okay <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm not going. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Just staying at home. Um, they get egg. Oh, they get egg. Um, that all am I on? Oh. Um, he got him oi bon ta. Oh, he got him oi bon ta. Obaha. Oh, no, it's Ah, oh, awesome. Uh, George and Ikima. Aim hey, bay, go bay saw. Ah, I am for young dog. I'm not for young dog, ma. No, ah. Apoyonda. Ah. On the inside, though. On the. I am born, ma. Ah, gone that dog, born, ma. Ah, they get tired, yeah. Oh, they get tired again. The all in oil, huh? What did you mean? Oh, not, not all. He got him oil bone, though. Oh, he got him oil bone, though. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ah, oh. Uh, for uh, from our mentors, any feedback for us? Good. Good. He pronounced well. Do uh, do we sound ready for the twentieth yet? Yes. Oh, <laughs> speaking tonight or? <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, oh, uh, Hyundai inside thought Grandma Martha. Um, uh, something I forgot to ask uh, Dane, but um, for level two on the conversations, um, is it the level two where we um, where we initiate additional conversation with? Yes, if you can add the credentialing to, board. Yeah, you know, like add to what is said at that time. If a mentor asks you something and you're talking, if you want to add to it, not just a staple answer, that's what he's talking about. You know, if oh. you just you know, beef it up a little bit, whatever you're talking about in your conversation. That's oh. it. If, if you're okay. able to add more to it, you know, on your own, and that's what he's talking about. Oh, like uh, like asking questions also? Yeah, like, like this set that we just went over, let's pretend that um, you were going over that with the mentor and they ask you a question and you answered it, but you could also add more information onto it. That's what he's talking about. You're able to do that. So you can converse a little bit longer and better, you know, like you know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Awesome. This beef and that helps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get more expansive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Think about what you're saying, you know. <laughs> awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, I think they're still in the breakout room. Um, well, we're supposed to only go till eight o'clock, so I don't want to hold everyone up here. So um I'm going to go ahead and um, send a message to the uh, breakout room and just let them know that we'll be closing, saying our closing prayer here in a second. Martha Nell, not I, da, Carolyn. Oh. Since you won't be here next Wednesday, is that correct? You will be at the. Yeah, yeah well, that's right. I won't be here that evening. Yeah. Is anyone else going to that? I don't know if anybody in our group is. I haven't heard of anybody in our group yet that's going to okay. it. Okay. It's just, open, you know, to anybody. I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's a good uh good question. Um so I plan on being here um just in case anyone wants to practice for the 20th. Um, so, well, and I think Dane said he's also going to join the session, um, so we can have breakout rooms and we can practice if you, you know, have some additional practice that you want to do before the 20th. Okay. All right. Any other uh, questions or comments? Um, can I ask about a song real quick, if that's all right? Sure. Okay. Um, it was one that I found on the Indians for Indians radio, um, from October 7th, uh, 1947. Um, I have it pulled up if, um, if you want me to share, um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you should, yeah. you should be able to share your screen. Hopefully. <laughs> is it the War Mother song? No, this is these are hymns specifically. This after this. Okay, okay. I ain't hanging, daughter. Come on, but all dog. I'm all to love a key, but I ain't hanging, daughter. Go, go, can't they get soft? It's up. Oh, yes, dog. Oh, yeah. A go go neko kia tono konde aga de salamal ba ton tulo. Neo de dop ai de dog dog ki ha pe. Dog ya tonga ba ton dog. Dog ya ba ton dog. Kia ko ba kia ko ba ma o ta to pe. Bei da cha. Yeah. 
Uh, so on that, I was My just favorite wondering. song. Yeah, it's a beautiful mm -hmm. song. Very beautiful song. Um, favorite one. Sorry, though. One day. Were, were those the uh, what recordings were those? I just the Indians for Indians hour. Uh, was that the ones? Uh, did somebody put those together or? The reason I'm asking is I lost my version of it. So I was trying to get a version of all those back again because I lost mine. Um, let's see. I think what I have here, I'll share my screen again. Um let's see. I think this is just from the I think it's from 40, okay, 42. Um, I think all the way up to 70. Oh, it is. Uh, I think, yeah, it is. It is done in 2020. That's, I think that, okay, this is, this is the version that like, one of the copies that I have. I was going to see if I can get a copy of this because I lost mine. Oh, yeah, I can, yeah. I can send it over. <laughs> okay. No, I'll, I'll just come down here. I'll, I'll get it sometime. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Where do oh. you get that? I uh, like well, I, I, well, you can go to uh, you can go to uh, what is it called the uh, uh, repository.ou.edu and download them all. But for the program, I went ahead and downloaded them all anyway onto there, so they'd be all in one place. So I don't have to go back to that repository every single time. So that's kind of why they ended up kind of on here because uh, I, I I wanted a quicker way to do them. But so anybody can get them. Yeah, Anybody? if you go to repository.ou.edu, you can listen to it with any ones you want to, and they're pretty easy to go by. And if I don't, what happened? Or I can't get them? Or Sam, you're going to put them on the radio, you know, show for the Kiowas? Yeah, cause yeah you can just Kiowa download them from there. They're, they're easy, and you can kind of look, search through kind of like this and see which ones are which. And if you go to repository, it gives you a lot more information on them, and it tells you what's on each one of them. And so you download the so ones that you want. Okay. So OU you and OU. Yeah, and the repository oh. one, you can actually search them out and they get they tell you who's ex who exactly on here. These ones don't have that kind of information on there, but it it does in this little folder, like who's who's singing, what songs they sing. If you see this one right here, he's pulling up, it has uh, old man horse and he goes through all those different songs and those are all ava available from that website and you can listen to them there's only a few things that are missing but the majority of them are there yeah. all right i'll try to get that see what i can do uh dane or ramon hyundai masai um the uh so are these the set that you're showing, Ramon, are these on a Google Drive somewhere or um, where where would we access them? Um, honestly, I cannot remember how I, I got this. I mean, it's on this hard drive that I have uh, or this USB um, that is actually fairly new. So I think what I did was I went to, like um, Dane was saying, I went to the repository site and then downloaded it um, and then put it on this USB. Um, so, but so, like a lot, a lot of the times I don't plug this thing in. So, you know, sometimes when I get free time, I like to <laughs> scroll through things and find things. Oh. 
Is the is this a list of the tapes um, also on that website? Yeah, it should be. If not, I think it's through the University of Libraries. I've seen this one before too, and I think it might be in another location. But uh, I think this one, you know, I, I think this one can be like you just if if it's there, you can put it on chat. I think it's small enough that it's it's easy to do it. But yeah, what Melody put a repository, that's where everything's at. That's where it has a lot of stuff listed for for this. This was the Western History Collections. I don't remember where to find exactly where to find this because I had to ask one of those people in there where to look for it. And it was kind of in like in a weird place. And like I said, I lost it all, so I don't remember where everything was. So what were you wanting to ask, Ramon? Oh, um, so on that first verse, uh, the dog at yeah, but all dog is is that saying be listening to uh, <laughs> to God's word? No, it says you have heard God's word naturally. You've heard God's word. Don't get but taught up. Mm -hmm. Past tense. You heard it. Yeah, past, you know, tense. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You've heard that. Okay. Um, heard God's word. And you have saying, heard. He wants the people to be happy is the next thing he talks about. Oh, the Gakomba. Uh -huh. Gakomba. And then pray, pray. They don't say. They don't say. Um, so then no babo, like look and look to him. Look, yeah, look at what no, he's setting himself up for examples, but it is he's saying. Yeah, look at me. Mm -hmm. For yeah. And then dog e and key ball. Mm -hmm. Save me. God save me. And then no akibon toya is that um he he saves or like he goes about saving. He can yeah, save you. He he's, he's alive. Oh. Akibo to yeah. I'm walking about. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh. And he's been saying if this is what he's trying to tell you. That can happen. Yeah. You just saw me. Oh. oh, like okay, like in the in the way they say you're a new creation, like I'm alive. Mm -hmm. Like in that sense. Mm -hmm. And hmm. then um our own dog. Happy again. Happy. Yeah. Yeah, key ball, you mm -hmm. saved me. Or mm -hmm. glad that he got saved. Right. That's a whole thing in itself. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it was mainly that uh the key ball to ya that um I was wondering about and but how did you get saw me? Uh, hang on, no outside, though. Or, uh, Obaha, no outside, though. May we, would you play it again for us? Yeah. What, and what, which, uh, what was the date on it? Uh, you said October? October 7th, 1947. Okay. <laughs> we can't hear it. Did you share the sound? Uh, no. You might have to reshare your screen. Yeah.
Oh, that is really pretty. Oh. Aho for sharing. Aho. Good. On day, on All right. Any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, with that, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, wrap up. And uh, for our closing prayer, uh, Cricket Bay Dot Sai. Ahu Daki Ampedo E Kyakom Da. Ahu Daki Dom Dot Anga Da Bimago. Ahu Daki Ampedo Kira Dot Agya. Um, Pedro, Kida, get on. Get ta, um, na, um, ho, um, tai, a, on. Get ta, um, a, ka, um, they, Pedro. Han, they, on, they, doc, e, they, goat, goat, they, they, do. Obaha. Oh, oh. All right. Aho de bat ha. Um, Hegaba oi bon ta ta. Hegaba oi bon ta. Oh, Hegaba oi bon ta. Oh,